Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Blue Beetle. Remember, Somebody has to. Remember that movie? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's another DC movie that is destined to fail at the box office. I think they know that. So now they're trying to backpedal on things. They're trying to do some damage control. And I think this is because of The Flash. I think The Flash was expected to be this massive hit. And they're like, well, if The Flash can't even pull pull off a decent box office, what chance do we have? Nobody knows who the hell the Blue Beetle is. And they got a lot of backlash uh, a couple of months ago for a joke about Batman being a fascist, but not just that, the director apparently making comments about uh, shooting Donald Trump. You know? Yeah, I'm I didn't like, know about what that. What the hell is wrong with you? Just shut up already. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this. I think this one's gonna be dead on arrival. And I was kind of looking forward to it because it's got the kid from uh, Cobra Kai in yeah. it. And it looked like just a, a solid superhero movie, but like... And they put that thing at the end. They put that thing at the end and then it came out, the director's got his political hot takes. But it's, it's like, funny yeah, it's because like now work. the actor, the kid that's from Cobra Kai, he is like trying to be like, you know, I think his director too, or trying to backpedal on it because they knew it ticked a lot of people off. That was April. Here yeah. it is July and it's like a month away. And now they're like, oh crap, we got it. We got to, we got to walk that back now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, anyway, we're we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! Uh, you know who's not going to get a woohoo, I think, is the uh, director of this movie. He's probably not getting woohoos at Warner at this point. Now, the trailer had it. It was a joke. It was a joke. It just, you know, given the way things are going now, it probably wasn't a good joke to make. But they were joking about Batman being a fascist uh -huh. at the end of the trailer, which again, current year, you're trying to win people back. Not a not a good look. Mm -mm. And then people start digging as they are wont to do when when uh, people you know are behind something and it looks really stupid. And it turns out that this guy was making comments on Twitter about uh, Donald Trump getting assassinated. Was it taken down? Yeah, he took it down. Okay, well, that's good. Anyway. The, only, the only thing I hope Trump has similar to Lincoln's presidency is the way it ended. Oh, that's not cool. That's Look, not cool. There are people I don't like. There are people that I like don't like as you know presidents or other offices or whatever. I don't sit there and go, golly gee, I hope they die. You know, it's like... Yeah, like, look, sometimes people say dumb shit on social media before they work for... Like, I mean, look at what happened with uh, James Gunn. You know, he said a lot of stupid, posted a lot of stupid shit on social media before he knew he'd be working for Disney. But this is not good because people are like, oh, it was just a harmless joke. And then we've got the guy out there saying stuff like this, right? Yeah. It's like, geez, oh, man. And then, of course, that led to uh, massive backlash from comic book fans. Uh, and, and honestly, though, the vibe I'm getting from this is nobody gives a shit. I mean, I think that's what's going on. I think that it's not going to do well. They know it's not going to do well. They're trying to do like if they can win back 10 people by saying, oh, we were kidding about that. Then you'll know, take whatever they can win back. They're like, it's not looking good. It's not tracking good. we got to claw back goodwill. Um, I don't, you know, and that's a bummer because I, I kind of, you know, wanted to see this one. Yeah. But then I kind of, I was kind of uh, maybe seeing Flash because of, of Michael Keaton Batman and I didn't and it's probably for the best I didn't and it didn't do well. So they got a problem on their hands. Um, yeah, well, there, were, there was backlash too because uh, in the comic, uh, the Blue Beetle, the current Blue Beetle is actually from El Paso, Texas and they made up a city, I guess. So people from El Paso are kind of pissed off too. So they've oh. got several things. They took the representation away. Yeah, is he uh, going to be eating a, a bag of burritos or something? Oh, is that what they're doing? I still think that was funny. You know, oh, it's this big heritage month. So everybody's eating like Mexican takeout God. food. And um, Squicking still laughs about the one where they had the Thor from the inner city and by Odin's fade. He still laughs about that one. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Um, so they're talking about Uncle Rudy. Uncle Rudy's the one that made the, uh, the comments about uh -huh. Batman being a fascist. And he's kind of a conspiracy theorist. This is George Lopez's character. So the director, the director, the guy who said that he hopes Trump's presidency ended like Lincoln's. Yeah, he's he's saying we always wanted to have fun with the way Rudy talks about other superheroes. So uh, to the people who got mad at, please give us a chance. We're just trying to have fun with the characters that we love. And everybody in our movie loves Batman and Superman and Flash. And of course, we have criticisms about all of them as we all should, but that doesn't mean that we hate Batman. We love Batman. Oh no, see, this is damage control because they're not, it's not looking good for Blue Beetle. 
Yeah, now the kid that uh, the kid that plays Blue Beetles, like I F, like him. F that. Maybe uh, Jaime and the audience don't agree with Rudy, but you're allowed to have your opinion. That's okay. The actor said if you felt some type of way about it, that was the point. So I think if you agree with it or you don't agree with it, it was placed there for a reason. You know, all the people who have their Batman shrines at home can keep them there and they don't have to worry. Okay, that did not help. That did not help. Dang, can I like you? No, but I mean, I think the point is you can agree, you don't have to agree, which I, you know, I do, I, I agree with that. Like a lot of times, you know, if you don't agree, you don't have to. Yeah. If you do, you, like you don't have to like something if you don't like it and you can like it if you do. It shouldn't be the issues that people make it out to be. But I'm like, he's like, F that. He's like, F that. You can have your opinions. That's, but you, you should feel, so, if you felt some way about it, that was the point. We're trying to, you know, basically make you feel one way or the other. And I'm like, so this is like Ryan Johnson where he's trying to make a polarizing movie. And I'm like, that didn't go very well. So I, I just want to, I just want to put this out there. The Flash currently, the Flash, which has a, a recognizable character. The Flash is one of the top DC Comics characters. This movie had Michael Keaton's Batman in it. Oh, the fascist? The fascist. One of the fascists. Um, There's a lot of them apparently in the multiverse. They should just call it the fash and just had. Uh, there you go. All the Batmans. All the Batmans. Yeah. So the flash, right? Currently sits at 245 million worldwide. Oh. It'll likely end its run around 280 million. It's going to lose the studio over a hundred million dollars. At least. At least. And that's the flash. The blue beetle. Nobody knows who the hell the blue beetle is. Exactly. Most people don't. And uh, I'm sorry. There this hasn't been any promotion for it. Have you seen any? From, I, I think I saw a commercial once. That trailer. And that I was, saw the that trailer, was it. but I think I saw on TV once, I think. Yeah. So we're talking, this thing has, it's it's not as big of a budget as The Flash, but still pretty sizable. $150 million. I hate to break it to you, Warner Brothers, but you're going to be like four for four this year because they had Shazam 2 bombed, Black Adam bombed. The Flash mega bombed, and this shit's gonna bomb too. Like you're losing so much money on shitty DC movies, and I think Aquaman two is gonna bomb. I think people are done; they're checked out; they're they're over it. I mean, the thing that gets me is normies are finally getting a taste of what comic book fans have been putting up with for years. Right? Palpable disdain for a large percentage of the consumer base. It's not just like, hey, these characters are quirky or whatever. It's like, you can't tell me that a guy that's tweeting stuff like that didn't make sure that was in the trailer just to push the right, right. buttons. Right, and then, and then no. he's like, but you know, just we're just having fun. It's okay, he's still coming. And then the actor guy's like, F that. It was done for a reason. If you got mad, okay. If you didn't get mad, okay. If you had felt strongly about it, this movie's for you kind of thing. Like, and I'm like, shut oh, up, kid. No. So good luck with that, kid, because I think I think you have just signed the the death certificate on this movie. Oh, it was there. It I was never going to do. Was it even alive? I mean, it was just slightly twitching. I don't know if it ever was really alive to begin with, but it's, it's gonna, definitely not going to do well. Someone raided that sucker. Yeah, it's going to get squashed like a bug uh, on a windshield, right? No, we're and, so clever. No, we're not. We're that, TV. That's actually you, <laughs> clownfish. Uh, yeah, it's that's not <laughs> one of my better jokes. Uh, anyway, it's not going to do well, guys. This is. Um, it some fun very the costume looks kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it looks... I I'm not familiar with the comic. A lot of people don't didn't know the Blue Beetle as a comic character because I didn't read comics. However, Neon did. Yeah, but I didn't even read much Blue Beetle. No, but you would stupid. know what the costumes look like. And everything yeah, it I looks, had no effing idea. It looks like a higher tech version of the comic book costume. Um, I, I didn't read Blue Beetle because when I was heavy in the comics, Blue Beetle was lame. He was a D list character. And I didn't bother. I also want to point out when they're giving their estimations of how much money this is going to make, this was from April or something like that, wasn't it? It was like yeah. months ago. It was, it was, it's not even like, I don't think a recent. No, this is from April. Uh, before all the backlash for various reasons, they said it'll probably earn 200 million worldwide on a hundred, on a hundred and fifty million dollar budget. Not counting that this the theaters, not counting the money for promotion, which right now they haven't spent much. You know, that kind of stuff. It's just, hmm. Yeah, I don't think they're going to spend much on this one. This one feels like, um, look, I'm going to be honest. I think you would have had a better shot with Batgirl making money because at least people know who Batgirl is. Even if the movie was god awful, it might have made some money just because people would have gone to see it just to see how bad it actually was. Well, they would have gone to see Michael Keaton's Batman. Yeah. But they were. I think they were trying to make sure if people were going to go see one shot at Michael Keaton's Batman, it was going to be Flash. We got to make our money back on this movie because it was crazy expensive. They're watching the money flash before their eyes. As Pretty it much. Away. Like I, the, them and Disney. So I think, I think you know, my, my feeling on this is like, 
One, I don't think James Gunn is going to turn it around at oh, all. No. I think he's he could make it worse. I think, in he's my opinion, the wrong person to be doing Superman, in my opinion, uh, based on his previous work. Yeah, you know, I could eat those words later. I don't know, but like Warner has to be look at this. Like, damn, this DC comic shit is a serious money sink. Like, this isn't. We're not making any money off these movies. We're not selling as much merch as we used I to think sell. They came into it too late, too. Yeah, I think Marvel had already dominated at that point, and there was no way they were going to catch up. And I, you know, if I were Zaslav, I'd pre- and he's all about the bottom line, be like, you know what? Cancel all of it. What Just if Marvel sh- shut this it point down. needs to cancel a lot of shit, and they're not canceling it? Yeah. So anyway, are we going to wrap this up? Yep. Uh, so there it is, guys. Uh, some very uh, uh, eh, meh. Damage control. They probably they're were trying to, though. It's funny. They're tr- th- that's what it comes across as. They're trying to do damage control. They were probably told to do damage. Please come see our movie. And the kid's like, F that. You know, Batman's a fascist. I'm like, shut up, kid. Just shut the fuck up. You know, one day. Co- with your Batman shrine. <laughs> one day. <laughs> like, oh, no. Cobra Kai is going to end at some point. And if you shoot your mouth off, so is your career. So just shut the fuck up. I liked you. Shut up. I like you better when Stay you get out. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. We're going to wrap this up. Uh, Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.